just a couple of weeks ago, we were complaining about the heat. Now it's cold. Things can change very fast. And this is one of the reasons why we need to meditate, is to give the mind a good, solid place to stay in the midst of change. Some change you can expect, other changes are unexpected. But either way, the mind needs a good, solid place, because otherwise it gets knocked off kilter. When it gets knocked off kilter, it starts doing and saying and thinking things that are not in its own best interest. Things that are harmful either to itself or to other people. So we've got to keep the mind well established. Remember that whatever else happens, you've got the breath right here. You've got your determination to be skillful right here. Try to maintain that being with the breath as the mind gets into a state of settled concentration with a sense of well-being. It gives you the clarity to see what should be done and the strength to do it. Because sometimes we can see clearly what needs to be done, but we just can't do it for one reason or another, in which case our knowledge doesn't do us much good. So the knowledge has to be supported by this sense of well-being. As the Buddha said, concentration is like food for the mind. The deeper the concentration, the more nourishing the food. So give the mind a chance to rest. But it's not just resting like it's resting in sleep. You're resting with mindfulness. You're resting with alertness. You're strengthening these qualities. So you have the well-being. You have the strength. You're coming from a good, solid place. So things outside may be me very unsolid, but you want your mind to be like that image in the canon of a stone pillar, 16 cubits tall, 8 cubits buried in the ground. So no matter which direction the wind blows from, the, the pillar doesn't shake. You want your mind to be that unmoved by events around you. After all, this is the way of the world. It spins around. We have north winds, south winds, west winds, east winds, north northeast winds, all kinds of winds. And some of them come in the forecast, and some of them come unexpectedly. But you've got to be prepared either way. And this is the way you prepare yourself. So you're going to keep this state of mind as solid as you can. <clears throat> 